Last year I came to you as your new bishop just when you were in the midst of the diocesan stewardship appeal. I was very impressed with the energy and sacrifice of so many members of parishes made to ensure the appeal's success. We still find ourselves in the midst of change. The election of a new pope, the successor to the See of Peter, has energized the entire church. But that good news is tempered by a secular society that seems bent on attacking vital parts of our community which Catholics have always protected and promoted, such as the family, the immigrant, and those in poverty. The people of the Diocese of Rockford have always been generous in helping the bishop fulfill his ministry. And my ministry is to reach out beyond the parish level into society at large. Look at it this way. You're always generous to the needs within your parish, but our Catholic family is much larger. We are the body of Christ caring for the needs of the church wherever that may find or take us. The Diocesan Stewardship Appeal makes this possible. This spiritual focus on sacrificial giving is enshrined in this year's theme. God opens the door of faith. Stewards respond. We've been conducting the appeal since 1975, and I'm proud to continue the work of our two previous bishops. During my early years as Bishop of Rockford, I began the Diocesan Stewardship Program because I saw the need for Catholics to look beyond their own parish needs to the wider needs of the church. Diocesan stewardship incorporates our Catholic values of tithing and sacrificial giving, so central to our beliefs. I thank the good people of the Diocese of Rockford for their contributions during my years as bishop, and I hope that they will continue to do so during Bishop Malloy's time. During my time as Bishop of Rockford, the Diocesan Stewardship Appeal allowed us to focus on vocations as we were in desperate need then for more priests. Because of your generosity, we were able to educate so many men to serve as priests in our diocese. My name is Kyle Mano. I'm 25 years old. I attend St. Mary of the Lake Wonderline Seminary. I'm here studying to be a priest, and I absolutely love it, and God willing, will be ordained in 2016. I was going through my life. I enjoyed my friends. I enjoyed uh, hanging out with them, but something felt unsatisfying, and it was in that moment where I really felt the Lord knocking at my heart and really calling me to something different. And so I started attending Mass more, going to Reconciliation, and it was there that I discovered that the truth of what I was searching for was God in the sacraments, in His Holy Mother Church, in confession, and ultimately in the Eucharist. Through His body, blood, soul, and divinity is where I'm going to find that deep communion and fulfill that longing for Christ that we all seek. I was sitting down with the priest, and he said to me, have you ever thought about being a priest? And to me, this I had never thought of that question my whole life. It never crossed my mind in any way. And it was that moment that the Lord planted that seed and was knocking at my door. And I kind of stepped back and I said, Lord, can I answer that call? Can I, can I walk through that door that you've been asking me to step through? Can I go through that gateway and answer your call? And I said, yes, because I found complete and utter joy in knowing that God could use me for the salvation of souls. I went to the website to see how much it would cost for me to attend seminary. I'm thinking, this is college. Like, how am I going to pay for this? And I went to the website, and under cost, it literally said, don't worry about it, all we ask for is your life. And I remember kind of laughing out loud, like, oh my gosh, that, that's frightening. Like, okay, I get it, like, it doesn't cost anything, but you, you asked for my life, which is a huge commitment, huge commitment. And I said, okay, well, I'll go. So I accepted that call, I went to seminary, and I can't even imagine how different my life would be if I had to work a 40-hour week job and try to attend school, and try to pray, and try to minister to people in the community, it would be impossible. The people of the Rockford Diocese helped me go to school. If, if it wasn't for them, I couldn't eat, I couldn't learn, I couldn't, I couldn't do anything. But because of their stewardship, I can give back all my gifts to God and one day work for His church. Although the appeal focuses on many diocesan ministries and services that benefit the parishes and community at large, the necessity of more priestly vocations continues to be the most important focus of this appeal. Catholic education, youth ministry, 
marriage preparation, outreach to the poor, priestly vocation. These are just some of the areas we Catholics support through diocesan stewardship. Our parishes are truly starting to embrace the idea of sacrificial giving and stewardship. Let me be candid. Each of us must realize that giving God back a portion of the blessings he's given to us is an obligation of faith. Our gifts to the church are one way we can demonstrate that we serve God. We're asking your help this year, just as we do every year. Please prayerfully consider what you may give. Whatever you decide, the church will be grateful. Your sacrifice, your parish's commitment, your desire to be God's stewards will truly open the doors of faith to those who need it most. Thank you in advance for your generosity. May God bless each of us in this endeavor. Thank you.